Okay. Oh, Tim, this is a great one because you know, uh, we'll talk a little bit about nets. Uh, Tim Tim says, I'm running an NFIT half wave at 20 meters, 100 watts. Due to the HF bands, how do nets work? Does everyone hear everyone or does only some people only hear others? Well, it depends. And on the lower bands, like if you're on 80 meters and, and, some, and usually on 40 meters, you should hear the vast majority of people that are checking into a net. Um, on the higher bands, because of the skip and the uh, skip and the silent zones, you may not hear everybody. And um, if that's what what usually happens is that if you can't hear everybody on a net, net control will call for what's uh, called a relay, and then a second station will assist net control with, um, with check-ins or traffic that net control cannot hear. So. And I would even add that that's actually good MCOM practice. If you can hear and serve as that relay, mm -hmm. do it. Travis, you have an interesting story about serving as a relay during Katrina. I do. And Sandy. <laughs> Katrina and Sandy. I did it twice. Go ahead and share. Well, when I lived in the bustling metropolis of Wassa in between oh. these two, <laughs> I had two antennas. I had a 120-foot flat top wire feed all the way to the shack, and then I had my Gap Titan. And I was listening to the Hurricane Watch Net, the one I'm thinking of it specifically is Sandy. And mm -hmm. I could I was on the vertical. I could hear net control, and I, I could hear him really trying to work this station. And I could hear the station, but it was weak, so I flipped over to the other antenna. And then, boom, he was just right there. I was like, well, okay, I can hear him. So I went back to the gap. And when I heard him say, I'm just not getting you, I threw out the relay. And he said, relay, go ahead. You know, I popped over, talked to the guy, grabbed his report, passed it on to net control. And he said, all right, you can obviously hear the affected area really well. Can you put a call out on my behalf to take some more stations? So I went out there, flipped back over to the the, antenna, the wire antenna, put out the call saying, hey, I'm calling on the behalf of net control. I'm looking for reports from the affected area for the hurricane watch net. Got a couple more reports, passed them back to net control. Basically, the same thing happened with Katrina as well. But it's really, it's it's good practice if you ha have the opportunity to act as a relay to do it because then you're versed in practice when the time comes if you're actually doing it in something in the case like the Hurricane Watch Net. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. In fact, you know, I just, I, I just see a message here too that, um, oh, I missed it. Um, AI5DD says, yeah, and hang out on 3916. We do trivia in the hour and 9 central. Uh, yeah, that doesn't nets... count. I listen to those guys. They're all running a kilowatt. Yeah. <laughs> so some they nets... don't do QRP? Oh, some no, nets... there is no QRP trivia. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun to listen to. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, oh, yeah. You can, and if you have an analog VFO, you can set the dial right to it because they're always on 3916. <laughs> love, love the guys, but yeah, don't run QRP with them. Uh, but... <laughs> but talking about relays on these very large 80 meter nets, you know, mm -hmm. they'll, some of them span the country, and you may only hear, uh, if you're not running a kilowatt, you may only hear three, 400 miles. You know, so it's uh, so even on yeah. the lower bands, really, just because relays. you're running a kilowatt doesn't mean you can hear very well. Remember that, too. <laughs> yeah, all, that's all, true. All ears, right? <laughs> I've been called that once or twice. <laughs> what a loud mouth or small ears? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for the questions. If you keep sending them, we'll keep answering them. Feel free to leave your questions and comments down in the comment area below. I'll filter through them, and who knows, yours may end up on our next Your Questions Answered live stream. Our Q&A live streams happen on the first Thursday of the month, starting at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. I hope to see you there. For more articles and information, along with a full line of VHF and UHF antennas for sale, please check out my website at www.jpol-antenna.com. Your support of this channel drives the production of future videos. Check us out on Patreon. Patrons gain access to exclusive content, and our patrons help keep the mission alive. That's over on patreon.com slash kb9vbr antennas. Well, give us that thumbs up if you like this video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if it's your first time here. That's your best way to be notified when a new video is released. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day, and 73.